Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about how to choose and install LED strip lights to kitchen cabinets. Now let's talk about the parts. So you will need at least four components, five actually. Uh, one of them is the aluminium channel where you, you will install the LED strip. The second is the LED strip or the LED band itself and you will definitely need a power source and the switch and the switch as well definitely so since I didn't want to drill any hole in my furniture I purchased a very strong double side tape and we'll try to install with that double side tape on the furniture itself so now, now let's remove the aluminium channels plastic protector and after then we will remove the shader from the aluminium channel and the shader is therefore to help the LED band uh, when it is turned on to spread the lights more evenly and it gives you a better look uh, not just the normal LED um, lighting and after then once the shader is removed, we will install the LED band inside of that channel. To install the LED band in the channel, it's very easy. The LED band has a double side tape and you can simply stick into that aluminium channel and then, then it will stay over there. And after that, we will talk about uh, wiring. So in a couple of seconds. From wiring standpoint, I have decided that I will solder the wires on the LED steer strip and into, into the switch directly. Use a heating tube and uh, then isolate with a, with a simple band. It makes it easier to install because in my case um, I was all lack of space but you can find for a couple of dollars or a couple of euros in, in my local currency uh, if, I, if I would cover that it, it wasn't even costing me that special wire for which has the, the male and the female tube which can be connected to the switch it wasn't costing me around one dollar or around one euro because at the time by uh, creating that video the two currencies are really close to each other so basically you can avoid uh, any kind of uh, soldering you can uh, just buy the parts and uh, plug and pay together uh, the, the parts since I have finished the uh, installation of the wirings, the soldering and everything together. Now it's time to test it out if it works. And in case if it works, we will install back, we will put back the, the shader of that aluminium channel and we can install to the furniture, to the kitchen cabinets. You will see after installing the shader back to the aluminium channel, the LED light will have a warmer and smoother feeling when it is turned on and once everything is there at the place um, and the final tests are done and the, with the LED is lighting then I will start to install some double side band which is very strong and um, I hope I can avoid uh, drilling and putting holes in my furniture. During the full process to get the LED work and install the LED inside of the channel and put the LED to the double uh, side tapes and install to the kitchen cabinets, the most challenging part were to get out the sub double type double side tapes isolation. And it's, it's pretty funny that, uh, that it was so challenging, but at the end, 
I have been able to install the, the channel and it was fitting well and I'm, I'm really happy with the results. If you would like to see similar kind of videos in the future, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe and the notification. Thank you for watching, I wish you a great day.